There was an unusual overnight deposit at the bank in the South Bay. A car ended up inside the building. And that car crash also sparked a fire that gutted the entire bank. Yeah, this happened in Torrance on the corner of Carson Street and Hawthorne Boulevard. CBS 2's Joy Benedict talked to surprised customers. Smoke seemed to seep into the darkness as flames flickered for hours at this popular shopping complex. By daybreak, what was once a corner fixture at the Delamo Fashion Center was simply melted and gutted. This was my Chase Bank, where I banked at all the time. Yeah, no withdrawals today. Jokes aside, customers showed up early Saturday morning in disbelief at how fast this building burned. It's gone gone fast. It all started around midnight when the driver of this blue car lost control at the intersection and slammed into the corner of this Chase Bank. Torrance police officers nearby heard the crash and were able to rescue the driver and passenger in the car and then it caught fire. The yeah, car uh, just crashed into it and uh, burst into flame. You hear it, something car running into a building you think okay some damage in the corner something taken down but they said the whole building went up in a matter of minutes. Firefighters say the fire quickly spread to the roof, which was made of a material that was very difficult to put out. Dozens of firefighters spent hours dousing the building with water. Before it was over, the car seemed to vanish, and so did everything inside. I guess I have to find another branch now. A big concern for customers coming out here this morning are the safe deposit boxes. Obviously, with so much damage to this building, they're concerned about their belongings. But we are told the safe deposit boxes are on this corner over here, where the building does appear to still be standing. Um, I feel sorry for the people who had their safe deposits in there. If they're still there, I hope for them. As for the driver and the passenger in the car, they were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. And although the damage is severe, Investigators say this was just an accident. The driver received a minor traffic citation, and insurance companies will have to figure out the rest. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.